I use two different programs for doing web scripting. My favorite is Dreamweaver, and I strongly encourage you, if you can afford it, please use Dreamweaver. I will do a separate video on setting up Optana. Optana works really well. The only issue I've been having with Optana is that it does not allow you to, um, well, in some cases it does. I'm having huge problems with it with FTP in Windows 8. I'm also having problems with, with FTP in my Mac. I didn't used to have those problems. Other than that, it's a great reference, and I'll show you how to use that. Plus, I'll give you two different FTP client videos, one for the Mac and one for the PC, if you do choose to use Optana. Best thing about Optana, it's free. Now, I'm using Windows 8. If you're wondering about the picture on my desktop, that's me with my dog, Eli. I'm going to grab Dreamweaver. And we're going to get started by setting up Dreamweaver. Now, for me, when I'm working in Dreamweaver, I have a specific workflow. I always work with, and I have multiple sites here, so I'm going to have to set up a new site. I did not mean to connect there. Let's cancel that. All right, so I'm going to start with my workflow. The first thing I do in every site is I set up the site because it's really the best way to work. Um, I'm going to work in my new site, which is going to be web, and everything should be lowercase, web 115. Actually, the site name, it doesn't matter. That's just local to my computer, and I'm going to have to go find where I want to put it. And I don't want it to be unnamed site, so I want to create a new folder. And I'm using Windows here. It's a little different than the Mac. Hopefully, if you're using a Mac, you know how to create a new folder. Um, and I'm going to call it Web 115. And I'm going to hit Enter to use that, hit Open to select it. And that's locally where my files will be stored on my computer. So I'm going to hit Select. And so now it's pointing to my documents web 115. The next thing that I need to do is I have to put in the server setting and each person if you're not in my class you're going to have something a little different than this but you need to know your FTP settings before you can begin. I'm going to call my server web 115 and I'm going to connect using FTP which is standard and my FTP address is Mary mccdgm.net. If you watched the previous video, I have another one at Mary Win. That's just practice. The Mary site is where I put up all of my samples for my courses. So I'm actually going to keep everything together and it's going to be a subfolder on that site. My username is Mary and my password is none of your business. It's the password that I set up. Now, if I test this right now, it's going to work but this is not the correct setup. The correct setup is to go to the folder level for my site. So it's in public underscore HTML and this site is going to be in my web 115 folder. And if you're taking this site with me or taking this class with me through my school, please set it up this way because if you're in the web design program, you're going to have a bunch of different folders by the end of it. And I don't want you to write over them and I don't want you to lose them because by the end of this, when you're getting ready to graduate, last class you take is a portfolio class. And you don't want to have to create things for your portfolio. You want to find things you already created. So saving everything on here just puts you that one step ahead. Now I want to test it. And this is why we went out and made sure this folder existed in cPanel before I started. So this is our second lecture. The first one, you set up the site in cPanel so it would work when we got here. And this is what you want to see. Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully. And I'm going to hit OK. And my last video is done publishing, so I'm going to kill that. And I'm going to hit Save. And so now I have Web 115 as one of my servers, and I'm going to hit Save. And here I am. Now, if I... I can go back and forth between my remote server, which would be completely empty. Oh, I did, I forgot. I did create yesterday when I was playing around with this. I did create a blank index page, which I can double click on and you'll see that it'll actually bring it down. That lets me take a look at it. And if I look at my local view, you can see that I've been planning out where we're gonna go, what we're gonna do each week. 
So I'm not going to play with that right now. I do want to show you how I want you to set up your file structure. Now this class is intended to be a 16 week class, though the last class is your final project. What I'd really like you to do is break each week in, down into its own folder. And I'm going to make this really simple. I'm going to right click on my file folder here and I'm going to choose new folder and I'm just going to name it 01. And the reason that I do the 01 is I want these to stay in order. And if you do one, when you get to 11 and 12, that'll come up before your single digit. So naming it 01, and this is just going to put each week in order. And then I can keep going, right click, new folder, 02, hit enter, right click, new folder, 03, hit enter. And I want you to go all the way through 14 in your last folder. will be final project. No spaces, no spaces, no capitalizations. Underscores are okay. If you don't want to do final project like that, you can do final project like that. That's a common standard on the internet. So that gives us our file folder structure. Imagine that I've done the rest because you shouldn't have to watch me create them. We're going to start creating our first web page. We'll do that inside the 01 folder and that's going to be the next video. Um, I am going to talk a little bit about how the basic structure of a website is set up and we're going to start working with basic text commands in the next video.